This is it, people. The final nine of the United States Women's Disc Golf Championships, a PDGA major in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Madison Walker. We are your two hot geese. Huh? Huh? Uh, we are watching Valerie Manduhano charge with seven birdies in a row. Katrina Allen not far behind. Uh, Valerie in solo second at the moment. Katrina in fourth. Side dropping down to sixth and Henna down to tenth. There's just as many birdies on the back, though. Yeah, we have the chase card, but the chase card is in contention right Chasing. now. Yeah, they are doing exactly what they are called to do on this final day. Not nearly as many people under par uh, in the front nine so far, but there is lots of birdies on the back. There's also a lot of trees. Hole 10, 282 feet and one of the toughest holes to get to the green on the course. This guardian tree in the middle, you can go right side or left side. I personally like the hyzer flip up the right side and let it finish into the green. I think the left side gives you a higher percent chance of, or a higher probability of getting to the green, but it is a higher risk shot. This green is so well guarded. You can land inside the circle in a million different places and have absolutely no way to putt. Um, this one's a tough birdie, the second most difficult hole on the course. See if Valerie can keep it going here. She's going aggressive line. This is her vandal, a little overturned, but far enough down there that she should hopefully have an open look to get her par. Katrina going right side gap. I do think this is a preferred play because you can still get a putt like Katrina just did just outside the circle. And yeah, the risk is just lower. Yeah, hitting and kicking left is absolutely brutal. And I feel like choosing that left side does bring that into play a little bit more. I and mean, we're just two safe geese, you know? <laughs> two geese trying to have fun. Whoa! What? Sai, once again, getting through everything, making the cameraman dance. She's like floating on the wooden plank. Mm -hmm. Huh. The old Good shot. Putter plank. That's nothing. <laughs> and I go on right side. And inside the circle as well. Wow. Okay. So this hole is not that hard. Valerie with the toughest look at it. Looks like a little bit of an awkward stance. She's a pretty big gap though. Oh. Ooh. I like that soft. Well, that was kind that of was an not, aggressive That was bid. like a full run, yeah. or I don't know if she just kind of yanked the. No, I think she approach. was trying. I think she was trying to put it in. Huh. Like I, I guess said, she I, knows. I mean, she's in second. Yeah, and she's in the hunt. She's trying to get as much green as possible. Twelve percent of the field getting a birdie on this hole, but I think what contributes to it being one of the hardest holes is how easy it is to bogey. Thirty percent of the field getting a bogey or worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it averaged three point two four. It said in the flyover. Mm -hmm. Henna for a birdie. Here we go. One under on the round. Wow, Valerie, quite with the, the tester. Comeback. Yep. Pretty wide straddle, doesn't look totally comfortable. Trying to get under those branches. She made a putt from here yesterday. Mm. Dang. Dang. Yeah, that'll cost her. I mean, she still has a great score, but like mm -hmm. we're talking about her winning the tournament. Mm -hmm. All the strokes do matter at this point. And doing a hard bid like that is surprising. Yeah. using her mini in an interesting fashion. That was a great birdie. I know it was a little right side, but she had so much power on it. Valerie with her first mistake. Hole 11 is a difficult par 3. It's only 309, but you just have to throw like a big Anheuser, I think, over that bush on the left and let it drift. Um, it's just weirdly hard to get it there. It plays farther than 309 for sure. Early right is death. Don't do it. Uh, GKProDisc.com slash two hot geese. Check out the merch. Support your local geese. We love you. We love you so much, Honk. I like the power sidearm here as well, but it is slightly uphill, so it's tough to get 
the angle and it kind of forces a weird hyzer flip I don't think as I've well. I have seen anyone throw the power sidearm. I think that bush is kind of in the way if you like accidentally flex it a little too much. This is ideal. Almost riding the right side, I think. Like it looks like it might turn into the right side and then fading just before it. Beautiful. Here's the wider play over the bush. And that's that FD again that is very, very stable. Um, it's fine to fade out over there. There's so many holes on this course that are under 350 feet, but just so difficult to birdie. This is definitely one of the harder ones. Only 8% of the field getting a, a birdie on this hole. Katrina's just it's turned just a bit and catches some junk. <laughs> uh, she'll be putting from circle two for a birdie. This is a great angle from Valerie. Flexing a little bit as well. Oh, yeah. That's how you come back from a bogey. That's that purple trespass again that she just put in the bag. And then laying up for her par. Katrina with a long birdie look. Oof, buzzing the basket. Rolling to oh, 20 feet. Hmm. For dogies are the worst. They are. Objectively. Really nice birdie putt from Sai. Yeah, Sai's starting to stack some up a little bit. She's in the mix, just one stroke behind Katrina and two behind Valerie, or three behind Valerie. I believe she's, how many down is she, four? Five, Sai's five down mm -hmm. the room. That's how Sai plays, she kind of stacks them up quietly. Katrina back down to four with that bogey. Anna still at one. Hole 12, another turnover. Um, this one, there's a little tree in the middle that you want to avoid. Get just higher than that because any more height in your disc could hyzer out to the left into this absolute wasteland of tiny <laughs> sticky trees. Uh, you want to avoid that at all costs. Turning it over to the right too hard is not that bad as long as you don't go too early. But in reality, landing short of this basket and getting some ground play up the hill, I think, is the best way to get up to the green. Some great power from Sai. Oh, yes. It wow. fades back just in time. And that's the I good mean, side of the fairway. How many of her drives have landed in the bullseye or just outside? I feel like she's I parking also everything. I feel like she's pushing the absolute edge of the fairway. Um, and it's working for her. I need a hit yet. Valerie, a little early, catches a guardian tree. She'll have a circle two look. Sai hitting 10%. Um, on the parked stats and 42% of her drives landing in circle one for birdie. 42, wow. Mm-hmm. And I'm not quite, quite getting enough on it, but it thankfully catches that last corner tree and knocks it down instead of letting it to drift all the way to the left where it can be really tough to get up and down. Into the wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina throwing a really pretty drifting shot here. She's so good at those. Mm -hmm. That was a rift. Henna probably going out and around to the right. It's a really tiny gap. Oh, no. Uh, did that hit the base of a tree? I, I think it hit the wood and planks. Yeah, yep. Planks are not the right word, but I don't know what to call them. Barriers. Yeah. Val with an Annie look. Right height. 
a little more. And a, a long comeback backer now for par. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Making them when it matters. Love that. What a great conversion. Is she outside circle one here too? Just outside. Yes. Yep. Gets a little jump. Perfect butt. What a great save. Katrina for birdie. And she started off the, the round pretty hot with the putter. Finding a couple difficulties on the last couple holes. Yeah, just barely off. <laughs> Dang, Sai stacking them up. Sai's at six now. Valerie at seven still. Still so many opportunities to get birdies. Six down feels so great through the round right now. Hole 13 played as the hardest hole in the course yesterday. It's only 234 feet, but look at how narrow this gap is. It calls for a backhand either straight shot or maybe something that drifts at the end. We have seen some aggressive kind of like early Anheuser lines mm -hmm. that I think is just so risky. Um, you can kick a tree into nowhere land, mm -hmm. Nightmareville. Yeah, you just don't want to kick early. That's that's the key here because it makes it impossible to get up and down. The burrows of bogey town. <laughs> yeah. I like a hyzer flip sidearm here as well. But mm. like Erica said, you you want to push straight more than you want to turn, even though that fairway looks like it is turning to the right. Trying to trick you. Valerie tries to force that turn. Fortunately, kicks early. This plate is the fourth most difficult hole today. A few less bogeys in the FPO field. And I'm turning it early, also kicking into the suburbs of sadness. Katrina makes it oh, all the way yes. all the way through the grove of great disappointment. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Katrina does catch a late tree, but um, she'll be pretty have happy look. to have a look on totally. this one. A long putt feels great. Decent effort from Sai, but once you're off the fairway, it is hard to find it again. Yeah, everything feels kind of like a poke and hope. There's not one good route anymore. Oh, whoa. Okay. That Little, worked out great. Yeah, double tree hit to, what, 15 feet? And a force to take a patent pending approach to her second shot. Looks like she had a little gap over there. Yeah, beautiful shot. So interesting to have such a short hole play. So difficult. Only one player parking the hole oh, from wow. the tee and only 13% of competitors finding circle one for birdie. Katrina with a hyzer look at the birdie. Not much to work with, even though she's all the way down there. I know, yeah, it's a bummer to kind of pipe this one and not really be left with a clean look. A sigh with a lot of trees for her par save. It doesn't look like she's even no. bothering it. I think that's smart. You could, you know, try to run that skinny gap and then end up with a longer putt if you're not careful. Nice scramble from Valerie for her par. Sigh with the unfortunate bogey, but this one, it's like, you, you kind of can write it off. You're yeah, like, oh, it's a bummer, but it's a bummer, but you're like, eh, it could happen to anyone yes. at any moment. Sigh's first bogey of the round. That's kind of how hole 13 and 14 feel. You're like, oh, it could happen. Somehow it can inside of 240 feet yeah <laughs> you can stack up strokes so quickly especially by going early left it is rough over there makes it really hard to get up and down there's 
There is one fairway technically, but it's <laughs> no wider than like six or seven feet. Um, pushing straight, I think, is better than trying to, again, turn left with the fairway. I would rather throw like a straight putter or mid than I would an overstable putter or mid. Um, keeping it low, I think, is important because then you won't kick mm -hmm. as far if you catch one of those trees. Yeah, I like the slightly stable mid thrown really straight with just a hint of fade. Maybe wow. like this. That's a, actually a really straight mid. And she she made, blasted it. Jeez. She made the fairway look huge, but you kind of have to throw it hard to feel comfortable hitting that tight of a line. And I think she's probably, what, 60 feet past? Oh, whoa, that was a warden, which is That's just a putter. A putter. Wow. She threw it 300 feet through a six foot gap. Oh, wow. That looks gorgeous from Henna. Just needs to sit. Ooh, oh, nice yay. tree hit. Backboard. Really good shot. They're seeing, making this look easy. Yeah, seeing two people get through that gap in a row is unreal. And it went champion rock three. Hole 13 and 14, both under 215 feet and playing as two of the top four hardest holes of the day. Really good kick. That's a great that kick. That is a really good kick. Trina's is right. Sai so having an open circle too. look at her birdie. Yeah, if you don't make it down the fairway, that's kind of what you are praying for. Yeah, Katrina luckily kicking right, but it's still tough over here. I, can, I couldn't quite tell how far she got down there. She might have a look. I think a long circle two look. We'll see. Wow. <laughs> wow, bonus birdie. Yes. After hitting a tree. Way what a to, great putt. Yeah, way to take advantage. Look at that. So pure. Love the hyzer line all the way there. Wow. That is a good one to get, and that is one way to do it. Whoa. Oh, no. Not much to work with here. Oh. What a weird place to land. Yeah, that's crazy. Huh. All right, Valerie. With a little bit of a tester, it looks like hard to tell how far she is. Oh no. That just sucks. I mean, she piped the line. Yeah. That's, um, yeah, a pretty rough error that's gonna halt her charging a little bit. She's six down now. Henna stacking up some birdies. Yeah, putt Making coming together putts. for yeah. Henna for sure. Definitely. Whenever those happen on the course, I always want to like pull out you just and try to figure out who it was. <laughs> Yeah, we said it on the front, I believe, but the galleries out here were amazing this weekend. Thanks to everyone that came out to support Women's Disc Golf. One of the values of this is that these AM women and young women, like, you know, people in intermediate or in the age protected division can come out and know that they're playing the same tournament as Paige Pierce, as Katrina Allen, like, as those top players on tour. And I think that being able to see yourself in that position is really important. Feel connected to, you know, the stars of a sport or feel like you can be that person at some point, I think is really important. Hole 15 is probably the shortest par 4 on the course under 400 feet. It is slightly uphill. You really don't have to do anything too crazy if you're just going for the birdie, but it is eagleable. Um, you definitely don't want to be early left. Um, there's a right side gap, there's a left side gap. Just kind of decide what you're going to do and do it. <laughs> yeah, early right can be a little bit tougher to get to the pin uh, on your second shot, but it, I mean, at 390 feet, you know, you, par is... Uh, par feels like garbage. Yeah. Just hot garbage. It never quite goes out the door, no matter how bad you mess up off the tee. 
We're hoping to see some eagles. Sai again riding Whoa. that left side, that not getting through this time. Bad kick. Yeah. And I'm going big here. That's a Star Destroyer. She's attacking. Wow. Uh-huh. Gets through everything. Somehow all the way down the right-hand side in the tree line. I think she's just outside the circle. For Eagle. Pretty cool. Valerie throwing a Vandal. Just playing for Birdie here. Oh, skips through those trees. That's cool. She's way up there, though. I mean, she could think about an eagle if she wants to. She probably shouldn't, but... <laughs> Katrina working that right side as well. Trying to give herself a long putt. Maybe... That's nope, just, just getting up there for her easy birdie. I mean, her and Valerie are probably edge of circle, too. That was a uh, pro-line Tempest from Katrina. Sigh... See what she Deep has in the woods, with. nothing. Yeah. Just trying to get back onto the fairway. No. I don't even think she got out there. It looked like a little overhand shot, maybe. Now she's looking at just like a high hyzer. Still probably just trying to get out. Not even get... Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, that's the risk of getting aggressive on the pitch out. The right side's a little bit more forgiving, I think. Depends on where you land, I guess. Oof, there's oh, a pitch out. Oh, man. Yeah, kind of a disaster. Like, this is a hole that you draw up as a birdie in your head every time. Yeah, and this is the kind of hole that I think if Sai played this a hundred more times, this would happen never. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. th this is just a complete freak accident. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. It's hard to take your medicine the f after a failed pitch out, to totally. pitch out a second time. Mm -hmm. Nice little turnover approach from Katrina. Valerie with an open look from 70 feet. Looked like a run, but kind of early left. Henna a little bit obstructed, going straddle from 45, 50 feet. Ooh. Man, that was such a good bid with yeah. that tree right in the line. I like the height. There were three eagles. Wow, go. nuts. Mm hmm. Cat Merch, Stacey Ronsley, and Ella Hansen. Very cool. Really nice birdie from Valerie there. Gets her back to seven, I believe. Katrina with the birdie as well. Sai with the unfortunate double. I think Katrina is four down. Sai, I think down to one down on the round. Hole 16. It's a par three, it's 285 feet on the card, but it plays a little bit more like 335 or 340. Uh, it's a really, really narrow fairway, not a lot of wiggle room. I like the Heiser Flip straight play that just gently finishes onto the green. Um, mostly you just don't wanna turn something over or bail something out early, left or right. Um, taking something off, some off and trying to just get your three might be a play here, but you know everyone on this card is just trying to get the twos. This plate is the third most difficult hole on the day. That's because it requires a very aggressive distance shot in order to get that birdie. Okay. <laughs> that was a good kick. Did you see someone corrected the T sign? <laughs> Did they? Yeah. Dang it, I missed it. <laughs> I wanted someone to do it. They like crossed out the other hole and put the real distance. Oh, this looks good. It's fading a little bit. Oh, it's close. 
Valerie, yeah, you're gonna have a circle two look. You almost have to flex something here, but the mm -hmm. fairway is so narrow just, and that early left is so brutal. You just have to ride that right side. It's mm -hmm. risky. Katrina, the Heiser Flip Master. Wow. Oh, oh man. Still a great shot, though. That's for Pro Line Rogue. Would have been part of it. Got that good ground play. Sai so looking for that birdie after the unfortunate double. It's a grace. A little overturned, but in the middle and maybe even in circle two. You know, we can't count her out on the long putts. We've seen her drop some in from circle two today already. Hina with a lot of branches in the way, giving it a strong bid, but checking up just before the basket. Sorry, from just inside circle two. Great line. Valerie from 50. Katrina lining up a straddle putt around this last tree. Mm. One inch low. And hole 16 has eluded our chase card as it does so many other cards before. Yeah, feels like that bonus birdie category. Mm -hmm. It is nice though, because it is sandwiched between two, sh on the shorter side, par fours mm -hmm. that feel like they're in everybody's wheelhouse. I think hole 17 is one of the prettiest holes on the course as oh, well. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Uh, I think a forehand is the safe shot, but we saw some absolute bombs yesterday. Backhand kind of hyzer flip shots that just get all the way down here. You see this stump with the... The stump on the left is the old pin placement or short pin placement rather, and we saw people get past that. And then there's not that much of a fairway. Um, there's a few gaps, so it's just kind of pick pick your touchy gap on the second shot, but we saw people get, I mean, almost putts for Eagle. Like 100%. it's 459, but it's a little downhill. It's reachable for the yeah, big the, arms. Yeah, there's a lot of space on the right-hand side to work this drive way down the fairway. And then just hopefully give yourself a short little chip or a long putt. That's and a star destroyer from Henna. Attacking. Yeah. No. What a smash. She does kick left, but I think she might be in the open. That new purple trespass again. Oh, that's looking good. Getting past that log. That's wow. the short pin. I mean, that's that's amazing. That's so far. Yeah. Should be an easy pitch up for a birdie. It checks up nicely, too. This fairway does slope down from right to left. So you're worried about your disc hyzering out a little bit too far and ending up in the woods on the left-hand side. Katrina battling wow. that by putting a beautiful angle and finishing super flat in That's the middle awesome. of the fairway. That's kind of scary because she has to throw towards that first tree off the tee, and if you hit that, it's kind of over. Yeah, even if you're throwing a hyzer flip, that tree's in your head, much less a turnover. Yeah, wow. Master of angles. Sigh early, gets a big kick left. Hopefully she's not too deep in the woods. She's a little deep in the woods. This is a hole where I feel like it's easy to birdie if you get off the, the um, tee cleanly, but if you don't, this one can be even hard to par. Yeah, and even where Sai is, like, if you look, there's no obvious gap. Mm -hmm. Like, this shot can be easy to mess up. 
So the shadows are tripping me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. And I did hit that tree. She's mostly on the fairway, but dealing with this large down tree. Mm. And there's, I mean, look at that. There is nothing. There's no way to get through at that point. No, no defined gap. Yeah, just kind of a throw and hope. And we'll try to recover for par here. Nice touch up shot from Hannah. Sai throwing her fourth shot, I believe. Mm -hmm. And what an unfortunate turn of events on these last couple of holes for Sai. She's been playing so solid all weekend. And some unfortunate early trees, the end of the final round. Ugh, heartbreaker. Yeah, I mean, she's still three down, even if she bogeys us, I think. She was one down, so. Still respectable score out yeah. on this course. Mm -hmm. But definitely not what she was looking for. Valerie gave it kind of a soft bid. This is a longer comeback putt for Birdie. No biggie. Nice. That's to go eight down. Katrina for her birdie after a really nice well meter drive. Yeah. Good putt. And that's to get back to even on the back nine. She's minus five overall. So I keeps it to a bogey. It's definitely a rough kick that she had off the tee. And it will settle for par after a smash of a drive. And hole 18, what a finishing hole. It's so cool. All the spectators were sitting out there too. It was such a fun way to finish off a beautiful week in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, not a lot of wind we had to worry about here. Really, when you're throwing down this big of a hill, you don't know what's gonna happen. You try your best, you know? If you throw something flippy, uh, and let it ride out to the right, maybe come back at the end. You don't want to hyzer out way left. Ideally, there's some thick woods over there. And those couple of bushes right before you get to the green definitely guard you from throwing that low linear shot you want that follows the slope of the hill. Mm -hmm. I think if you are early left, it takes something that's really sawed off to find the left side. Mm -hmm. Like you can get pin high and have a pretty easy pitch up. Oh, this looks good from Valerie. Just needs to find the ground now. And that's a the very typical landing zone uh, for the FPO field, somewhere in circle two or just outside, um, hyzering out. Katrina going right side. I really like this play. I think it's how you park it, but it brings these bushes into play. Mm. Which sucks because that was so pretty. I yeah. Like she would have parked it without that. And it can be so difficult there. to get up and down from there. Very dense. Oh, some heat on that thing. Look at this low line. Oh, too low. Dang. Yeah, trying to get the hill to um, contribute to the power of the drive. I watched Emily Beach today flip something over and have a backhand roller buzz the basket. It Whoa. was not on purpose. Huh. It was amazing. Sai throwing a felon here. I don't know if she was trying to flex that out to the right. That's a very stable fairway driver. Like maybe she's just playing for par. I don't know. And then with a very long bid from edge of circle two, telling it to get down. Doesn't look too happy. Yeah. She's still pretty close. But definitely more than you want to putt on the last hole. 
thigh still gets way down there. She has mm -hmm. a very easy up and down for her par. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong, I think, with being on that left side, as long as you're not too deep. Valerie with her long putt, what would you say, 45, 50? Yeah, about 50. What a way to finish. Oh my gosh. Doing oh it. yeah. Doing it big for the crowd. That's to go nine down. Wow, what a putt. Unbelievable. There are only three birdies on this hole either, and I love that that's how one of them goes down in the hunt for a major title from 50 feet in front of a huge crowd. Love this. Wow, and dead center too. Yeah, that was amazing. She never stops impressing me. Man, what? Just concentrate, concentration and execution. Let's see what Katrina has to work with. Looks like she Nothing. just... Nothing. Oh, bummer. Oh, wow. Henna did go a little farther than I thought. Yeah, me too. Bit of a comeback putt. There yes. we go. That's how you do it. Yeah. Henna was even on the front. She did stack up three on the back. Definitely slower than she wanted, but she kept it pretty clean. Always good to see her play. Great recovery from Katrina as yeah. well. Good scramble from there. Yeah, ball don't lie. That was a good drive. <laughs> And Cy taking a par as well. There were three birdies on the day. We got to watch one with Valerie, Natalie, Ryan, and Ellie Bryant also. For the chase card, Valerie, Beth, and, and nice work from these ladies. Been playing solid all week to get here. This, these courses are a birdie fest, so you have to be in like pristine focus all weekend long. Absolutely. I mean, look at 29 under, 25 under for the tournament. Those are phenomenal scores. And look at Hina's really clean back nine coming in super strong down the stretch. That's what you have to do. Let's look at the leaderboard, see how this... Look away if you don't want to know. Dang, Valerie, nine down, super hot score, and that's with two bogeys. And coming within one, and look at Haley King taking down her first major. I'm her biggest fan, yay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Haley getting four down on the back to secure that major. Owen Scoggins, third place there. Katrina Allen, tie for fourth. Yep, it was the end of a good week. Thanks to our VIP members, you guys rule. Thanks to everyone in the Madison disc golf scene. They had a record number, 170 volunteers. Unbelievable at the biggest U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championship ever. That's awesome. I also want to thank everybody who followed me and Madison and came up, gave us a honk. Uh, we love you guys. We love you guys so much. Also, big thanks to GK Pro Disc. You guys have been following the FPO coverage for the last two years. We appreciate you. Give GK Pro Disc some love. Go check out gkprodisc.com for some merch um happy u.s women's <laughs> we'll see y'all next week at idlewild honk honk